My name is Steve Pless. I'm Vice President of Access Builders and I acted as the General Superintendent on the Service Dog Memorial Project. We were tasked with building a new memorial to the service dogs adjacent to the existing Fallen Warriors Memorial. And so it has bronze statues of two service dogs. One's called Brittany, and Brittany was a cadaver dog who served on the World Trade Center site, helping them identify remains. And she was the last surviving cadaver dog that served there. And she was from the Cypress area. The other dog that's memorialized there is Eli. He was a army dog, and he is memorialized there and the way they set the statue, he's actually looking over his shoulder back at where the name of his handler, who was PFC Colton Rusk, is on the existing Fallen Warriors Memorial. The service dog memorial itself consists of, there's the two statues in the middle on a little, on some concrete paving, and then there's concentric rings of pavers, stone pavers and concrete pavers. And then outside of that, there's bollards and benches and planters, and the planter walls are granite, and they actually have etched into them the story of the, of the service dogs. And then outside of that, there's paver walks, all getting you to and from it. So as a general contractor, AXE is responsible for all the safety associated with the project, both for the workers working on the project and for the general public that is that we're interacting with around the project. So the Fallen Warriors Memorial is in a park that actually gets fairly heavily used, and so the public is there a lot. And so a lot of what we worked on safety-wise was making sure that we kept ourselves contained and that the public was able to continue to use the park while we reworked the pass and installed the new memorial. I'm proud to say that we did the, the entire project without any safety incidents, nothing before. Sychamp Public Utility District has taken on themselves a mission of memorializing warriors from this area that gave their lives in service to the country. So every major holiday, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Veterans Day, there are remembrances for these guys and there are festivities out here at this site. So it's not unusual to find family members of some of these servicemen reflecting in this quiet space, sitting on the benches and just enjoying the quiet solitude there. The access process is a very cooperative process with our owners and with the owner's design consultants. And so we worked in close conjunction with the owners and with the designers to understand the owner's vision for this project and to bring that through to completion. Right, so any project like this, budget is always a factor and schedule is always a factor. So they were trying to get the thing in before Memorial Day so that they could have it open for a major holiday. And so we were able to bring in on plan, on budget, on schedule. Well, this project is located in an existing park, and that park is very heavily used by the public, and it's adjacent to an existing Fallen Warriors Memorial that is very heavily used by the public. So we were interacting with the public all day, every day, and we had to keep the existing park open while we did this work, kind of completely contained within it. So we were able to segregate ourselves from the public, provide temporary pathways around ourselves, and keep the public safe and away from our construction, allow us to finish the work and get in and out. So what makes this project unique is just the, the tie that it has to the community. The fact that the Fallen Warriors are all from this area, these dogs are from this area, and that's what they're memorializing, is Fallen Warriors and service dogs from this area. So while we're doing the work and now that it's complete, it's not unusual to see their families out there. It really has a very personal tie to the local community. It makes me personally proud and it makes us proud to be involved in building memorials to these heroes from our community and be able to go by there. I drive by that thing every day on the way to work and it gives me a real sense of pride to be able to know that we were a part of that. The Service Dog Memorial, not a huge project. We had seven subcontractor trades involved in it. The AGC members involved were Axis Builders, obviously. Herbie Barlow did all the waterproofing and Tulane Wong Engineering did all of the testing.